Feeding an alligator accounts for much of the cost of raising it. Farm-raised alligators are fed a high-protein diet, but producers and aquaculture researchers have long wondered if the diets could be less costly. Alligator growers helped fund a new alligator research facility at the LSU Ag Center's Aquaculture Research Station. Millie Williams will conduct studies on alligator nutrition. And one of the issues that the farmers have is deciding how much to actually feed their animals, whether um, they are feeding too much or too little. The facility can hold more than 200 alligators with enough space to grow them out to four feet, which is considered marketable size. Williams, like gator farmers, is feeding the alligators a manufactured feed. The amount is based on a proportion of their body weight. She will measure their growth monthly. She also is looking at other feed formulations, ones that contain less animal protein and more plants. The lower the protein, the lower the fat, the lower the cost. Bringing down cost would help alligator farmers. Alligators in Louisiana are produced primarily for their skin. The industry has suffered in recent years as the downturn in the economy has led to lower demand for alligator leather. This facility, which is the only one like it in the country, is designed to help alligator farmers grow their animals more efficiently and at a lower cost. The facility received its first group of gators in April. So uh, we're just doing a kind of a quick run through this summer to see uh, how well everything works, work out any bugs, uh, do get a little data on feeding rates, that sort of thing. And then probably we'll have our first full-scale production test uh, starting in September of 2013. Ray said future research could look beyond nutrition. Other studies will likely include best management practices and environmental issues associated with alligator farming. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Toby Blanchard reporting.